So everyone builds a business with the aim or intention of that business becoming one of the biggest, not just in the town, maybe in the country, or why not, all over the world. But then, these people tend to face one huge problem. Do you know what that is? You guess right that is competition. So many small businesses face huge competition, especially when you're just trying to get into the market. You will definitely meet much bigger companies which are much bigger than your business and then you'll be faced with the problem of trying to overtake them. I'm very sure that when you look at your competition, you might think that, ah, oh, they are already very huge and you can't get to them. Do you know that your competitors were once just like you? Every business started small. If you are a small business right now struggling, Remember that every business started small, be it Coca-Cola, be it McDonald's, be it Tesla, no matter what company it is, they all started small before they became the mega companies that you see out there today. So do not feel discouraged. You can definitely get there. Of course, it needs time, it needs consistency, it needs patience, and you can do it. But then if you want to do it, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for videos like this and so much more. As you already know, you are amazing. And if you are an amazing person, don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, competition is extremely important and healthy for every business environment. It's very normal, not just because it brings about innovation, but then if you are able to stay ahead of the crowd, you get the advantage, you get the head start, and you get the benefits of all the customers in the market. Although competition is really important and helpful for all businesses, it can be a very huge hiccup for so many businesses. And you watching this video right now might be feeling that pressure. You might be feeling like, oh, I just started my small business and I'm feeling the pressure of competition. There are so many people who are much bigger than myself in this business niche. There are so many people making a lot of money already. There are so many people that have more customers than myself. And I'm just a small business person with not enough finance, with not enough support, with not enough customers. You are at the right place. I am here today to tell you that you can definitely overtake the huge competition that you see. You just need to watch this video and follow the points thoroughly to make sure that you can get ahead of your competition. Trust me, you can definitely do it. And now since you have subscribed, I can give you all the tips you need to get ahead. Remember, you need a strategy, you need a plan. And that's because every single company or business that wants to get ahead of the competition need a strategy and you need to make one too. Well, the very first strategy you would wanna put in place in order to understand your competition is to know and understand your customers. That's the very first part. You need to know and understand who you're selling to, your target market, who needs your products, who needs your services, and who actually wants to buy what you are selling. Of course, it doesn't matter if you are an online business or an offline business. You need to know who you are selling to. Remember, knowing your customers really helps you to build a good and healthy long-term relationship with them. And you really do need this because I'm not sure you want to just build a business that, well, today you get a new customer and the customer leaves tomorrow, then the next you get a new customer and the customer leaves again. I'm not sure you want to build that kind of business Business. You need to build a business that has long-term customers and if you want to build a business that has long-term customers What you need to do is to make sure that you understand your target customers You need to know who you're selling to that way you can better strategize and know how to separate your customers from the customers of your competition In order to know all of this you already have all of the data in front of you What you just need to do check your customer feedbacks check your demand check your purchases check your after sales reviews check how how your customers feel, where they come from, check how they get to know about your products. All of this information, you can put them together and understand who your target customers are. That way you can better know how to place yourself in the market and strategize better as compared to your competitors. Well, of course, if you are an online based company or small business online, you can go ahead to check what exactly triggers customers to click on your link or to click on your business or to click on your page and buy something from you. When you understand this, you would know the type of customers that you have, the type of customers that want your product, that want what you're selling, and that way you can better strategize as compared to that of your competitors. All right, guys, so that's the very first point. Now, heading on to the next one. You need to study your competition. That's the very second point. You need to study your competition. Step back a little bit. Take a look at your competitors. What are they doing differently from you? What are the strategies that they are using? How do they seem to get more customers than yourself? Of course, they might have been existing already before you, but what are they actually doing that 
makes those customers stay in that company. Remember, there's always so much to learn from your competitors. Never let that go. Never let that slide. If you want to be successful in your business, you need to make sure that you understand what your competitors are doing. Of course, one of my previous videos, I explained right here what happens in China, for example. If you have a business, sometimes your competitors can send someone to come to your business as a buyer. They come there, they ask about your products, they see how you demonstrate your products, they look at your customer service, how you welcome them, how you talk to them, and they bring that information back to their company. It happens, you know, it's kind of like a cold war but you need to be more strategic and use your brain more often because that's what's gonna help you grow ahead of your competition. If you can understand that, you don't need to do the same thing that they are doing. You just need to understand that and strategize, build something much better, which is definitely linked to your uniqueness. We are gonna come to that in the next point. So you need to build that in relation to what your competitors are doing. That way you can produce something better and also offer better services than your competitors. That is the way you're gonna win. That is the best way for you to win. You need to ask yourself if your competitors have an amazing story that they are selling to their customers, which makes them wanna stick around with them. So when you get the amazing story of your competitors, you can then build your own amazing story and make it even much better and more juicy. Because you know, so many people have this misconception when it comes to competition. They believe that, oh, I just need to lower my prices. I just need to make my products much cheaper. That doesn't really work anymore. You can have higher prices, but your strategies are working and you get more customers, more sales and everything. So just lowering your prices alone really doesn't work. You need something much better. You need something more strategic. Remember, a customer is human, just like you and I. They feel the same like you and I. They understand the same like you and I. They have needs, they have wants, just like you and I. They have feelings just like you and I. So ask yourself this question. If you wanna go buy somewhere, how are you gonna feel if you are given that type of service? Will you feel like, okay, I love this, I wanna buy this? Ask yourself the question. That's how you know yourself and you will be able to go ahead of your competitors. So you need to study your competitors and get better for yourself. Now, without further ado, guys, let's head into the next point. Identify your uniqueness. You need to know how unique you are. What makes you stand out from your competitors? You definitely have your story. You need to sell your story. Remember, your customers are not buying your business. They are not buying the products from your business. They are buying you as an individual. They are buying your image. You need to know that you can have the best product in the world, but just because you don't know how unique you are, you don't know your strengths, you don't know the weaknesses that you have to so take advantage of them and know how to re-strategize, you can definitely fall back on your sales just because of that reason. It doesn't matter how good your products are or your services are. So what you need to do is to understand how unique you are, what makes you different from your competitors. Capitalize on that. Make sure that your customers can see how unique you are and why you are different. Let's take a popular example. Take a look at someone like Kanye West, who signed a deal with Adidas, of course, and he sold tons and tons of Yeezys, right? So here's the point. At the beginning, so many people were like saying, ah, oh, the Yeezys, they look so bad. They're not really that good. But they still went out and bought them. I think that's one of Adidas' highest ever collaboration that they've done. And they've made the highest sales from Yeezys. Do you know why people were not buying Adidas? People were not buying the shoes. Because if it's about the shoes, they are much better looking shoes than Adidas shops. They were buying Kanye. They were buying the Ye. They were buying Yeezy shoes. That's because of Kanye West. He is the person. They are buying the person. They are not just buying the shoe. They are not just buying it because it's Adidas. If Kanye goes to Nike, he could still sell the same. So they are buying the person. Do you know why they are buying the person? That's because Kanye West has built an image around himself. He has built a unique kind of image in the mind of the customers. So when they are buying something, they are buying and saying that, okay, I'm buying this made by Kanye West. Wow, he puts it on. He talks about it this way, that way. The way he does everything, his style, his uniqueness. He tries to be unique. And that way he sells as much as he wants. So you can do that for your business. Be you. Be different. Be unique. Don't be like everyone else. Don't be like all of your other competitors. Of course, you need the ideas from your competitors, but you need to build yourself in your own way. And that leads us to the next point, which is that you need to have a clear message. You need to make sure that your messages, your goals, your services, your products are direct and easy to understand for your customers. It doesn't matter if you're offering a service or a product. 
if you have a captivating message, make it clear, make it direct. Because when you have a clear message, your customers will better understand what you are offering, the services you're offering, the products you're offering, and then they'll be able to align themselves with your brand, with your company. Just don't make it too complex. Just go straight to the point. You can make it intriguing, of course, and exciting and juicy. Make them want to try out what you're selling, but then don't be too complex. So many people hate it when you make things so complicated or difficult to understand for them. There's already so much going on in the world and I'm sure you know that. So what you can do is to make it as easy to understand as possible. Look at the biggest brands in the world. They just find the simplest words to use, be it for their logo, be it for their motto, be it for the marketing campaigns. They just do their best to make it simple. Just do it, I'm loving it. Easy stuff like that. Help your customers to understand what you're all about, what you're selling with easy words. And that way you're gonna pull more people from your competitors to your own side. But then in order to make it much easier, that is why again we go back to the very first point that I made in this video where I said you need to know your target customers. So if you know your target customers, you will know the best words to use. Because of course some words work better with some customers, but some words do not work. And it also depends on your environment, on your graphical location because something might be perfect in China but might not be perfect in the USA. Something might be perfect in the USA but maybe not in China, might be perfect in Iraq but maybe not perfect in South Africa, might be perfect in Nigeria but not perfect in Cameroon. So it just depends on where you find yourself and your target customers that you have. Now guys, there's so many points, but let's round up with the final two. Let's head on to the very next one, which is your existing customers. Remember when you started your business? Maybe you had just one or two customers. Those one or two customers, don't let them go. Hold them tight. Just the word of mouth from those two customers can help bring more people and help build more trust with your business and your customers. So you need to understand that no matter how many customers you get, how many new customers you get, don't forget your existing customers. Still show them the love. If you're trying to bring in new customers and give them benefits, try to give your existing customers benefits too. They all deserve it. Because if you can't hold your customers long term, then what are you working for? You're just working for your competitors. If you're letting your old and existing customers go because you can't serve them right anymore, then you are simply letting them go over to your competition. And you shouldn't do that. So if you're working on your new customers, you should make sure that you do not forget your existing customers. Well, talking about existing customers, it doesn't matter how many products you have, this leads us to the very next point, which is innovation. Never stop innovating. You need to keep improving your products, improving your services, improving every aspect of your company, of your brand. Never stop doing that. You know, customers, like I said already, are human like you and I, and we like to see new things. We like something that is intriguing. So you should make sure that you keep on innovating your products, you keep on innovating your services, make it more exciting. If you can learn something that is more exciting and intriguing for your products, Bring it, try it out, put it in, get some customers, do a survey, do something new, do something nice. You shouldn't make your customers feel bored in your company, in your business that can push them away to your competitors. Remember that you need to keep on innovating. Don't be a boring company. Do not be a boring brand. And here it is, guys. You should understand this. You should keep on doing your best to make sure that you can try as much as possible to fulfill either a couple of these or as many as possible. The more you do it, the more customers you keep on your side, the more customer retention you're gonna have, and the more customers you're gonna pull from your competitors, which will keep you ahead of the curve. So don't forget to keep these points in your mind. Of course, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes strategies, so you need to take your time and put it in your own way. Because of course, all of these points will work differently for different companies, since every company has its own uniqueness. So you have your uniqueness. If you have a small business, don't give up on that business. It doesn't matter how many competitors you have, no matter how big they are, even if you don't have enough finance right now, keep on pushing. Step by step, you are gonna get there. Just make sure you follow these strategies and stay consistent. Don't forget guys, this is Willen. See you next time.